Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to use PowerShell to manage Windows Server. Before we jump into that, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to show you is how to get a list of available modules. So I typed in the command here inside of PowerShell, get dash module space dash list available. We'll press enter on that. And here we can scroll through our available modules. We can use a similar command to manage the roles and features. So if I paste in get dash windows feature, and press enter. And this is going to display our available features. Notice that as we scroll through the list here, some of the features will have been removed or installed like these here. Next up, I would like to essentially filter for the features that are installed only. So we're about to run this command get dash windows feature where object and then here we can set our parameter. So I want the install state to equal installed. I'll press enter. And as we can see, we're returning a much shorter list here, but this is going to show us only the installed features. In addition to that, we could also use the install or uninstall commands for specific features. So here we'll test it with the Telnet client. Install, and then you just use the name here, followed by the feature. So I'll hit enter. We'll let that run. And you can see it's starting the installation. And alternatively, I can do the same thing except I'm just gonna change install to uninstall. And we can see it's starting the removal of that feature. Next up, we're gonna move on to system events. With this command here, we can get a list of all of these system events. Feel free to copy and paste that command and we will hit enter. If you guys wanna follow along with these example commands that we're using for this tutorial, there's a GitHub link in the description and you can follow along and try these commands with us. In addition to the last one here, I'm gonna specify a warning and the newest three. So again, we're just pasting this command and writing some parameters around that. So I'll press enter and it'll return the newest three warnings. As we can see, they were all today and we can see the message underneath that as well. We can specify the message itself. So here the message would include time service. So I will hit enter and let's see what we get returned there. I just installed the server, so I actually don't have anything returning here, but typically you would see some messages that include this. And for the last example here, we're gonna specify the source as Microsoft Windows Kernel General. And here's the result we get for that. We can also find available services or start and stop them from PowerShell. We'll start with get-service and this is gonna show us are services that are running or stopped. As we can see, the bits service is currently stopped. We're gonna use that in our next example. So I'll paste this. It's gonna be start-service name and the name bits. Alternatively, we can do the same thing, but change the start word to stop. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, SQL Server, Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.